So you were telling us about your sports writing days, uh, but you had moved to radio at some point. Right. So tell us about yeah. those uh, days. In 19, I guess 1949, I had an opportunity to go to the radio news desk of the uh, New York Daily News. And we would write, um, it was either a five minute or a 10 minute news summary that a that was uh, read over the radio by uh, station WNEW in New York, uh, by their announcers. But we would provide the information. And uh, the way the radio news desk worked in those days, it was a, kind of like a tripod. There was a, an editor sitting at the uh, top of the triangle, and then to the left and to the right, there were two writers. And the editor was responsible for gathering the news which came over a teletype system. And also, because we were in the Daily News building, the news that the Daily News had acquired during the day was made available to us. So we were responsible for organizing the, the editor. Uh, if I had the job of editor that day, I was responsible for organizing the order of the stories and the, <clears throat> the length of the stories indicating to the, to the people who were writing them how much time we, how much space we had. And then those, those stories uh, would, would in, in turn teletyped to WNEW in another section of New York City. Uh, and then the, the, uh, the announcer would, would read them and it was every hour on a half hour. Was there a special language that you used because you just finished saying that you had to express to these, uh, to these, to your colleagues how much space they had? Right. Um, you know, if you were a seamstress uh, or a tailor, you have a, you know, you have a ruler to to measure cloth. Right. Did right. you have a, a special way of communicating? Yeah. Well, you would say to them. Um, the, I've given you three stories for page for your page one because they had four pages, and so you had to keep you had to keep those three stories. They had to be completely rewritten and revised to fit into that space, and so uh, actually they had four pages, and you would give them two stories, or if it was a major story, maybe be the first the whole page would be the the uh, first few minutes of the, of the of the broadcast. But there was no particular terminology except that you would say to them, be careful of tongue twisters, because one day we had a, uh, uh, a story and it had been a, a sudden snowstorm. And one of the men wrote, uh, suddenly slippery sidewalks uh, came to the uh, sleeping city of New York. And we, get, we got a phone call from the announcer. And he, he says, Lou, we, we, could you? Could you revise? Is it okay if we revise that? He says, "I'm, I'm, I'm spitting out here every time I try to say that these words, you know." So it was kind of funny. You, you actually had to remind people that people are listening, Hearing, right. listening to the words, and you have to be careful. You can't be uh, t uh, the pros can't be too, uh, uh, too not too much so alliteration, too, too sophisticated, uh -huh. you know, it, it, because of, of the listening. But anyway, that, that was uh, how we, that was, anyway, that was the way the news uh, operation worked. 